Hello, my name is Kevin Roberts. I'm a learning specialist, lifelong meditator, and author of Cyber Junkie, as well as Movers, Dreamers, and Risk Takers. I'm also an ADHD adult and a specialist in ADHD. I am, therefore, highly qualified to talk about the topic of how to keep your mind clear, because a lot of people like me and those that I work with have trouble in that area. Now, the first thing that I want to tell you is many of my students and clients suffer from anxiety, rapidly shifting attention, and significant stress. And these are three factors which can make it very difficult to uh, attain clarity of mind. They muddy the waters of the mind. So the first step in this topic is to ask yourself, are you anxious? Do you have a lot of stress in your life? Have you ever been tested for ADHD? Do you tend to uh, obsess on the negative? Are you dependent on a substance? Do you engage in any compulsive behaviors? If you answer yes to any of these questions, or multiple, you may want to consider professional help. You could have an untreated condition. A lot of times an unclear mind is symptomatic of something deeper. Let me say that my mind naturally wanders. Uh, and in meetings and in appointments with my clients, sometimes I have trouble staying focused on the topic at hand. One of the greatest tools that I have ever used is meditation. Now, for me, meditation is not some religion or something for which I need incense or a special cushion or to have my fingers like this. Meditation is simply a choice to notice who I am and what's happening in my mind. It's not about shutting down my mind. It's, a, it's not about being serene. It's, it's not about being peaceful or being calm. It is about being exactly who you are in the moment and noticing that. So how do you do that? Well, it's so much easier said than done. But I'm going to give you some basic steps. First of all, think of your thoughts as clouds that pass by and your job as a meditator is to just notice those clouds hey I'm anxious there you go and that anxiety is in my body my stomach is tight see there I'm just noticing something I'm not judging it so when you meditate you're basically like a football announcer and you're watching the game and you're reporting on what's going on but you're not necessarily making judgments you're just reporting so Part of this is to accept what's going on within you because a lot of conflict in the mind and lack of clarity is because I don't accept what's going on. I fight it. So clouded thoughts are usually the result of being stressed or anxious, as I've already said, and then struggling against that anxiety or worry. So here's a novel concept. Accept the worry. Uh, stop trying to change it. Stop trying to change yourself. Just accept what's going on. I'm stressed. Good. I'm anxious. Good. I notice that I'm anxious. So when you meditate and you accept who you are, radically accept, what you might find is that calmness and serenity and clarity may come. But you can't get to those places without the radical acceptance that is meditation. I'm Kevin Roberts. Thanks so much for watching.